We know it's hard to accept yourselves as vibrational, but it is easier to accept yourselves as emotional. And when you begin yes. to affect your emotion by your thought, then that's a bridge to understanding vibration. So what you could begin to say to people is, you know, I have a sensing that I do have some sense of guidance. I've had gut instinct all my life. And I've noticed that often I'll have an impulse to do something. And when I followed it, it went well. And when I didn't, it didn't go so well. It was like some part of me knew something that the rest of me had to catch up with. So I started sort of paying attention and began to notice that the better I felt, the better things went for me. And the worse I felt, the worse things went for me. And so I've just decided that I'm going to feel good. You could leave everything else out of it. You could have a grandmother who just taught you to appreciate and taught you to feel good. And you could know nothing about law of attraction or Abraham or any of this stuff that we talk about. And you could live a magnificent life. A man sat in the chair today and said, I'm living such a wonderful life. I'm almost afraid to mess with this stuff for fear it might mess something up <laughs> right. and we say there are all kinds of people who are living enormously well because there is no gap between what they want and what they expect you see right. but to be deliberate in the offering of that and we know there are a lot of people who are not ready to hear about channeling but there is no one who does not want to feel good there's not sure. one person on the planet who wants anything for any other reason that they believe that in the having of it they would feel better Agreed. and if you can just get across to them that if they could feel better before they have it then they will have it that is the dominant message that we are offering you can leave every other part of it out if you want to